For Action News, I'm Anna Samovska. Here's the latest buzz in the bee colony collapse disorder. The mysterious phenomenon causing a rapid decline in honeybee populations has been identified. The prime suspect, a virus, not a pesticide. A new report from the Department of Agriculture shows the problem stems from the tobacco ring spot virus, not from pesticides as previously claimed by anti-pesticide organizations. They suggest the bees may pick up the virus from the pollen of plants spreading quickly among their peers. The false pesticide theory stems from new chemicals called neonics that have been used more and more by farmers worldwide. Here's Aksha's Dr. Gilbert Ross with more. Bees are an incredibly important part of our agricultural ecosystem, pollinating many different types of uh, fruits and vegetables. They account for something like $90 billion of uh, agricultural uh, production. So a loss of honeybees uh, of significance would really uh, impact our uh, whole agricultural system, our food production. The evidence pointing towards uh, these uh, relatively new and, and quite important pesticides as a cause of bee colony collapse disorder uh, was sketchy to say the least, but a lot of anti-pesticide activist groups uh, took up the cudgel of uh, attacking neonicotinoids. Uh, the tobacco root virus, this would be the first time such a virus has been found to, uh, uh, to move from pollen to bees. Uh, so this is a unique experience and it's a very important a new finding. So uh, these rapidly mutating uh, viruses uh, can potentially be the cause of, uh, of destruction of bee colonies. Uh, so while uh, on the one hand it tends to take the focus off of uh, uh, pesticides, uh, thus helping science find a real uh, uh, treatment or prevention for this agent so we don't get distracted with uh, pesticides, uh, finding an actual uh, treatment or prevention for uh, tobacco root virus uh, uh, is going to be quite a challenge because these type of viruses are not very amenable to, uh, to therapy as you can tell from uh, uh, the AIDS virus. To read more on this story and others head to our website aksha.org. While you're there don't forget to also sign up for our daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Aksha, I'm Anna Samovska.